What's up, YouTube? This is Prince with ATP 101, and in this video, I'm going over my top 10 tweaks part 3 for iOS 9. So, if you want to learn how to jailbreak iOS 9.0.2, links in the description. So, and also, if you want to see part 1 and part 2, links also in the description. So, my first tweak is called No Slow Animation, and what that does is basically speed up your device. If I open up settings, you see how quick that is, everything is just snappy. So if I open up settings and scroll down to no slow animation right there. So if you want to make it real fast, I'll put it all the way to the left. If you want to slow it down, you put it all the way to the right and then you hit respring. After your device respring's, then it should go back to the normal iOS um, speed. So if I open it up, see that it's kind of, it's much slower. Like everything that's open up real slow. So if I go back to settings, put it all the way to the left, respring again, and everything should speed back up to the see that look how, look how much more snap, snappier. See that everything does much more snappier. So that's one of the no slow animation. And my second one is called face down. Basically, what you do is after you once you lay your device down on its face, it automatically closes by itself. So I see it's locked. It's open, I mean. You could hear the lock sound will pick it back up. It wakes itself. So that one is called face down. No, no configuration. You just download it from Cydia and you're good to go. And then my third one is called force color. Force color is for only device that supports force touch. So if I every time I Activate force touch is gonna give it's gonna flash the color of the app. So if I open iMovie, you see that it's kind of purple. If I do that to Snapchat, the animation is kind of fast, but you can see that it's not really supported, so it just flashes um yellow. That one flashes green YouTube, flashes red. I mean, so whatever the device, whatever color of the app, that's what it flashes. Like it gives it a blur, not really flash, but it gives it a blur of that color. I mean, App Store. So that one is called Force Color, guys. Pretty sweet. And my fourth one is called Swipe Home. Swipe Home basically after you activate your app switcher, if you swipe up on the home screen. It will kill all the apps. Swipe up on the home screen, all the apps go away. Just like that. So it's a real cool tweak. If you want to kill all your apps, that one is real cool. And my fifth one is called Unlock Sound. Unlock Sound, you know, on iOS now, Apple um, basically got rid of the unlock sound. So if you want to lock your device, you don't really hear the sound. But now, if I lock mine, you can hear the lock sound. If I open it up, you can hear the unlock sound. I mean, so that one is called unlock sound. It's a setting. There's some settings and settings. Basically, you could enable it, choose the sound. I mean, the sound, and you could basically do, do the volume. I mean, the custom volume. So that's basically it. I mean, download it. Don't even have to configure it. Just download it. It'll work. So that one is called. Um, unlock sound and my sixth one is called shortcuts shortcuts basically let you certain apps that doesn't support um, force touch on the iPhone 6s and 6s plus like the um, the settings app it doesn't support it but with shortcuts it does give you support now so if I long press on if I do a force touch on the settings app I get to reboot respring power off or go into safe mode the weather app same thing it gives me the current temperature of my location so I'm talking about and what else even stock now you could that basically give you a quick view of what's going on in the stocks so that one is called shortcuts and my what's this my seventh one is called incon incognito message so incognito message you if I open up my messages what this does is basically if you send in a message, if you got a if you got a text, if you got a text from somebody, you could read the text. And as long as you don't hit the 
as long as you don't type a text. So if somebody sends you a text and you could read the text, but as long as you don't go in here and t start typing, then it will give them a message that it's not read. I mean, as soon as you start typing in the reply box, it's going to say read. But if you don't, you could read it. I mean, tap on the message, go in there, read the whole message, and you'll be fine. They won't know that you've seen the message. But as soon as you start typing in the reply area, then it will show up as read. So it's like you could read it. I mean, read through it, think about it, if you want to reply or not. If you don't, just back out. They won't know. I mean, unless you want them to know that. I got your text, but I don't care. So it's whatever. But if you want to be slick, oh, yeah, you text me? Nah, I didn't see the text. Because, you know what I mean? They don't know. So that's incognito message. So my eighth one is called nude keys. I open up that app switch. I mean, the, mo the message app. You can see that keyboard right there, that beautiful keyboard. That one is called nude keys. I mean, cool tweaks. Let's go on to settings. It is right here. You can set it up. Set it up. You got dark keys. It got the the color enable. So basically, you're gonna basically choose your color. I mean, let's do pink. Everything set up. You hit respring. After your device respring,s then you should have your new keyboard. So let's go to notes. I don't have to go to notes. I'll have to just pull down. And there you go. I mean, so I chose the red for the top. And like the bottom, I chose pink. So that's all you got to do, guys. And you got this awesome, awesome keyboard. It's called Nude Keys. Check it out in I love that one. That's my new keyboard tweak. I mean, and my ninth one is called Switcher Tweak. Switcher Tweak basically lets you switch up your app switcher. If I go into my app switcher, as you can see, now I got it coming from the right. In stock iOS 9, it's coming from the left. I mean, it's got, everything's coming from this side with this one. Everything's coming from the right. So that's basically what it does. It lets you switch up um, your app switcher, as in switcher tweak. So where is it at? See, I got it. I mean, page scroll direction flipped. So basically, I could even set it up that it comes down, so you could switch up the whole the whole look of your. See now, now I got it coming down. So that's basically what Switcher Three does, and everything works. I mean, now you just swipe right, and that works as well. So it's a cool little tweak. Check it out. It's called Switcher Keys. And my, basically, that's Switcher Keys. Switcher Tweak. And my last one is Zeppelin. It's an oldie but goodie. If you look right up the top left corner right there, you can see I have the cloud for my um, carrier. So if I go to Zeppelin, I could basically switch it up to whoever or whichever one right on the fly just like that. I mean, that's what Zeppelin does. I like having the Apple. So I'm going to put the Apple there. And it takes immediate effect. So there you go, guys. Those are my top 10 tweaks, part 3. The link's in the description for part 1 and part 2. And also a jailbreak video. So it's Prince with ATP 101. Rate, comment, definitely subscribe for more videos like this. Peace.